Hello friends, welcome in the day 11 of the 30 days of code in HackerRank. So today we solve the problem about the 2D array. So let's go to the problem. So here is the context given. So here you see the 6 into 6 2D array A is present. So you simply calculate the maximum hourglass sum present in the 2D array A. So what is the hourglass? So hourglass is look like this pattern in the 6 into 6 2D array. So here A, B, C, D and E, F, G. This like pattern is called hourglass. So in this 6 into 6 2D array, you simply got 16 hourglass. So I think you understand what is hourglass. So you simply calculate the sum of this hourglass and then compare with H and another and which is the maximum of this 16 hourglass it printed on the output screen. So here input format is so you simply take the 16 to 6 to the input from user and after that you simply print the maximum hourglass sum present in the 2d array a so in a 16 to 6 2d array you simply got 16 hourglass so like here present in the sample input we take 6 into 6 2d array from user and after that here 16 hourglass are present so that means we simply calculate the sum of the H hourglass and then compare with H and another and then print the maximum hourglass present in this 2D array. So here it is the maximum hourglass present in this 2D array. So here the value is 2, 4, 4, 2, 1, 2 and 4. So when we sum all the elements we got 19. So that's why we print the 19 on the output screen. So I think you understand the problem and how it works. So I simply go to my Hacker Tank editor. I simply select the C language for this problem. And here all the complex looking code are present. So I simply remove all the code and simply write a C code. So and then the main function and inside of main function you declare some variable like i j and k and our sum so this is calculate the sum of the hourglass and i initialize it zero and one another variable which is max and i initialize the value is minus 64 and after that i simply declare an array and give the size of the array as 6 and 6 it is a 2d array so after that you simply take user input so i make a for loop and then repeat for six time and inside of for loop i make another for loop and for this for loop also i repeat six time because it is the 2d array so we take user input so after that you simply store the value which user given in the array variable so after taking the user input you simply make another for loop and this time we repeat the for loop for four times so inside of for loop i make another for loop so j equal to zero and in this for loop we also repeat for four times and, and inside of for loop we simply initialize our sum equal to the array i plus one and j plus one and after that you simply make another for loop and for this for loop we repeat the for loop for three times and then inside of for loop we simply write our sum equal to our sum plus array i and then j plus k and then plus array and then i plus 2 and j plus k so the for loop is done so i come outside from this for loop and check if our sum is greater than the max or not so if the hour is 
greater than the max so simply max equal to the hour sum because in the max variable we simply calculate the maximum sum of the hour glass so i came outside from the loop and simply print the value of the max so it is ready to run so i simply run the code so here congratulation page has shown so i simply submit the code and all the test cases are passed so now i explain how this code is work so i simply open my paint and here i take this sample input then i simply name it i and j i for the row and j for the column and for row it's 0 to 5 and for column it is 0 to 5 because it is 6 into 6 to the array so after that i simply go to my code which i written for this so in this code you simply look at here we simply take user input so we make two for loop because it is a 2d array so after that i simply make another two for loop and inside of for loop i simply declare our sum equal to array i plus 1 and j plus 1 so so when i equal to 0 and j equal to 0 here array 0 plus 1 and here 0 plus 1 that means 1 1 so in the our sum variable it simply store this one value so i i take the example of the first our class present in the studio array when we go inside of the third for loop our sum equal to our sum plus array i and j plus k that means i equal to 0 and j plus k means also 0 because k value is 0 and j value is also 0 so array i j means 0 0 so that's why it store this value in our sum and here i plus 2 that means the i value is 0 so here is 2 and j plus k that means 0 so it simply store 2 0 that means this value so for the first loop for k equal to 0 it simply store the three value inside of our sum but when the k equal to 1 it simply store like our sum equal to our sum and here 0 i value is 0 and here k value is 1 so that means 0 and then 1 it store this value and here i plus 2 that means 2 and here j plus k means 1 because k value is now 1 so it simply store this value so after the loop k equal to 2 this value and this value is also stored in the our sum so for the one complete loop of the third for loop we simply got the sum of the first our glass so when the second for loop is done means j equal to 0 to 3 is done so it simply calculate this for our glass present in this 2d array so when the first for loop is done that means the four row of this our glass are complete that means when the three for loop are done we got the our sum of the all the 16 our glass present in this 2d array so after that you simply make a condition and you check our sum is greater than the max or not if the our sum is greater than max you simply store the max as a our sum so after checking the condition you simply got the maximum our sum present in the studio array so after that i simply print the maximum value in the output screen so one question is asked uh, which is why max equal to minus 64 why i did not initialize it to zero because here the lowest value for h element in the our glass is minus 9 to 9 so that's why the lowest value possible for one our glass is 
63 because here seven element are present and for age element when we initialize it to minus 9 value then it simply give us a minus 63 value but if we initialize max equal to 0 so when we check this condition our sum is greater than max or not so when max equal to 0 and our sum is negative value then always max equal to 0 is greater greater so that means always we get the output as 0 but when we initialize it to minus 64 that means the value of this our sum is not low, lower than the minus 64 because the maximum lowest value for this our sum is minus 63 so that means the original value of the our sum is um, compared with the max and then the our sum value is initialized in the max variable so after that max is printed on the output screen so i think you understand how this code is works so that's for the day 11 see you in the day 12 Thank you friend, goodbye.